good morning and welcome to Bible Study Live. As you know by now, week after week, every Tuesday at 11.30 in the morning, we take your Bible questions and answer them live right here on Facebook. And this is going to the entire world. Last I checked, we're in over 50 countries, well over 50 countries. So the message of the gospel is fulfilling prophecy going to the world. Well, don't forget to hit that like button and share this so we can continue getting it to around the world. And we're going to answer today's question. It comes in on Facebook. The question is, will we be on earth, uh, or sorry, it says, we will be on earth reigning with Jesus during the millennium, right? And I wasn't sure at first if that was a question or a statement. So I think what they're asking is, there's a theology that, that says that um, Jesus will return and then we will reign on earth with him for a thousand years. Is that the case? Well, let's take a look at the events of what happens when Jesus comes back. When Jesus comes back, it's accompanied with the seventh plague, the last plague. There is a worldwide earthquake uh, big enough to bring down mountains, destroy islands, and not only that, but it's accompanied by uh, hailstones about the weight of a talent. That's anywhere from about 75 to 150 pounds, depending on how you measure it. So this event is going to just destroy basically any inhabitable anything on planet Earth. And this is why in Revelation chapter 20, chapter 20 is sort of the chapter that discusses the millennium, and we need to understand the condition of the world at Jesus' return. And by the way, the word millennium is not in the English Bible. It comes from the Latin translation, two Latin words, million annum, thousand years. So here we go in Revelation chapter 20, verse 1. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And then it continues to say that Satan would be bound uh, for 1,000 years, and after that he'd be released. So what is this bottomless pit? You'll notice that I have that um, highlighted there. Bottomless pit comes from the Greek word abusos. What in the world does it mean? Let's continue our study into Genesis. To understand the end, we have to understand the beginning. Genesis 1-2 says, The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So the earth was without form and void. In the Greek Old Testament, that comes from the same word abusos, which was used to describe the earth at the return of Jesus, or the consequences of what the earth is at after the return of Jesus. So at creation, it was an uninhabitable rock that nothing could survive on, and that's why God created life. Um, it took his creative power to do that. So when Jesus comes back, the earth essentially returns to that uninhabitable um, state. Nothing can survive there. So we will not reign with Jesus on this planet for 1,000 years. In fact, the reason Jesus is coming back is to take his people to heaven and get us off planet earth until it is then cleansed by fire, where then it is recreated. So the Bible does say in Revelation chapter 20 that we will live and reign with Christ for 1,000 years, but it doesn't say it will take place on earth. Actually, it takes place in heaven. What is the devil doing during these thousand years? He's on a thousand-year timeout. What does he enjoy doing more than anything? He enjoys causing pain, lying, deceiving. Well, if all the wicked are dead because they're killed by the brightness of Jesus at the second coming, plus the earthquake, plus the hail, all the righteous are in heaven, who does he have left to tempt and to destroy? Nobody. This is a thousand-year timeout for the devil where he gets to sit and contemplate the consequences of his actions and what will eventually become his demise at the third coming of Jesus at the end of the millennium. And the wicked are raised. They try to storm the holy city, New Jerusalem. God allows us to prove that given any second chance, it would still try to tear Jesus from his throne. And then fire comes down from God out of heaven, destroys the wicked, burns them up, destroys even the devil and his angels, burns them up, and burns up everything, everything sin-infected by this earth. 
But on the ashes of this earth is a new heaven and a new earth where never again sin will affect us. Aren't you looking forward to that? Don't forget to like and share what you're learning on social media. Visit and like us on Facebook, visit and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and visit and subscribe to the website at beholdthesavior.com for much more free downloadable study material. Thank you, and God bless.